Hello everyone, I hope my mic is good. Welcome to a very first series of Upgrade. Oh, I apologies, um, my speaker for some reason has been um, echoing a little bit, so I just, so I turn off the speaker, I hope everything is all good and all that stuff. So yeah, um, as I was saying, Welcome to a first series of Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. Now, I know they'll be thinking, I already did this series. What well, alright, let's, uh, let's get into this. So, yes, I did actually complete the series of Ty, but this is the sequel of the Tasmanian Tiger Bush Rescue. This is different. This is the first game that comes out, Ty the Tasmanian Tiger 1. So... In this particular playthrough, I'm going to be doing something, something a little bit different. Yes, for those of you who are going to say, I'm going to be accomplishing hard code mode. And I might be, there's a chance in the future I will be doing hard code mode on the second game. It might be on live, but we'll see how it is. But the first game is just way too easy. For normal difficulty so I'm gonna go straight up hardcore mode on this one so for those of you who don't know how hardcore mode is is that you have at least one life left if you lose that then your entire progression is already restart that means you're gonna have to start everything from fresh again so I'm gonna do this on hardcore mode hopefully I don't die <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm not going to be wasting too m much time on this. And yes, I actually did complete both of them on this game. So we're going to be going to game two, actually, it's finishing up hardcore mode. If I fail this one, then I might have to come back, but we'll see how it is. But in any case, let's dive into this, what this game has to store for us. By the way, before I actually enter in, if you enjoy this series so far, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more stuff like this. With all that said, let's begin. Don't be afraid, Ty. I am Nandu Gili, the Bunyip Elder. Get I might? It's time you knew the truth. Years ago, a great battle was fought over the fate of five mystic talismans. Once 
and for all. Those brave few who challenged Boss Cass were trapped in the dreaming. Mom? Dad? Word grows that Boss Cass is seeking out the talismans again. He must be stopped at all costs. It's up to you to find the talismans before he does. It's up to me to save my family. Oi, Ty! Are you okay? Murray? Oh, am I glad to see you. Oh, you're never gonna believe what just happened. I was playing in the forest when the ground suddenly... And that's when you showed up. Root! Sounds like you've got a fair dinkum adventure ahead of you, mate. Not that I'm into that sort of thing. I'd much rather be at home watching the footy. But I tell you what. You do the adventuring and I'll help you out where I can. What a great cutscene that was. Don't you agree? Alright, so... Welcome to Rainbow Cliffs, mate. By the way, whenever you see one of these signs, I won't be far away. I've heard that if you press the action button, you can talk to me, whatever that means. Okay, now let's get down to brass tacks. If you're gonna be out adventuring, then you'll need another boomerang. And I know just the place to find one. <laughs> Head down to Bly Bly Station. I'll meet you there. Alright, welcome to a new hub area called Rainbow Clips. This is a new hub area that was introduced by the first Thai game. So, yes, unlike Thai 2, you start off with one boomerang. So... But once we go to 2 up, which is the first level we're going to go into, we're going to get the second boomerang. As you can see um, on the top left, you start off with one life. There is no, and for those of you who don't know, there are extra lives in this game. And if you like die, you know, then you have to lose a life. But for Tai 2, it doesn't happen. So for this game, you got to be sure to get as much lives as you can. But it is hardcore mode. So, you only start with one, and once you die, then it's it. It's over. Done. So, let's call it to do this. G'day, Julius. Now, if I just reroute these wires to... I said g'day, mate. I is death. Oh, goodness gracious me. Oh, I didn't see you there. I was just making some last-minute adjustments. Well, 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 you must be Ty. G'day. So, you old coot, <laughs> what's this contraption do? <laughs> this contraption is the key to finding the talismans. Why is this so? It's quite simple, really. It uses an oscillatory microfeeder to scan for trace energy signals that match the unique power matrix of the talismans. Huh? Mm, like a big nose that sniffs them out. Oh. Ah. And thunder eggs are the key to powering the machine. Thunder eggs? Oh, they're as rare as hen's teeth, mate. Couldn't you just use batteries? <sighs> if only it was that easy. You see, this machine doesn't just find where the talismans are, it actually teleports them here. Struck me lucky. And that, my friends, requires a great deal of energy. So, uh, how is Ty here going to find all these thunder eggs? Eh, hey, I was just wondering that myself. A reasonable question. 
I've created these portals to lead Ty to areas rich with them. Of course, they won't just be lying all over the place. Just their luck. A lot of them will have already been found. The trick will be convincing the locals to part with their prized possessions. But I'm afraid I can't help you with that. If you're as resourceful as they say, Ty, I'm sure you'll think of something. Righto, Ty. There's no point in mucking about. You've got to find a second boomerang. I'll see you in two up. Alright, so... Yeah, those are the collectibles of the main game of the Thunder Egg, so... I'm not going to be wasting too much time, because we're going to be going for two up. Which is the first level we're going to enter into, so let's jump right into it. This billabong has got the lot. Gum trees, wallabies, and even a koala. <laughs> There's plenty to do here, so let's get a move on. Listen, mate, I solved your problem. I found you a second boomerang. That's great. Where is it? See that tree over there? Yeah? Well, it's not there. Right. Well, where is it? It's on top of Frill Neck Peak. Oh, great. Oh, no worry. You'll just have to jump, run, rang, and bite your way there while avoiding Boss Cass's henchmen. Look, mate, life wasn't meant to be easy. Alright, I gotta change up the uh, dialogue. Yeah. The, uh... Let's turn down the music a little bit. Yeah, the music is really loud. Like, holy crap. I hope that's better. Yeah, so those things are ovals. And just like Tai 2, um, there are 300 in each area. Um, I'm going to explain that for a little bit. But yeah, let's grab that Thunder Egg. And it shouldn't be that difficult to get. Beauty! Butler! Bonza! I got one! Yeah, yeah, yeah. One down, 71 to go. <laughs> Come on, let's get a move on. <laughs> Yes, so there is, in total, is 72 opals. I reckon those dunnies are a complete Wait, not opals, thunder eggs. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Only last week I used one, walked two blocks, was clobbered by a frill, and then woke up back on the dunny. Which was the best place to be, given the surprise I got. Julius reckons it's got something to do with the space-time conundrum. But if you ask me, I think it's a load of bull dust. So you're saying that if I have an accident, I'll end up back at one of these? Something like that. But in hardcore mode, you can't do that. Otherwise, you lost. All right, so I think I lost a couple of boxes over there. So did I? Let me make sure because there are some situations that I need to backtrack everything. Alright, something. As expected. Alright. So yeah. You can see that there's boxes over there to free to open up as well. Truth time! You've got a fair set of choppers on you. I reckon you could put them to good use by pressing the bite button. <laughs> Get it? It's choppers, bite button. <laughs> Never mind, Ty, move on. Have a go at those crates. I forget, is it why? You can buy no, enemies and it's other things by pressing okay. Alright. So it's why. Yeah, you can bite on this game as well. Um, city, it's pretty self explanatory. Um, now, I was speaking to a bloke down the local watering hole, and he reckons you can use your rangs to take care of enemies and smash things. You ripper! 
Ikke selv sammen er rigtig, men det er selv sammen at være pressing the throw button to use them. Alright, so A is throw your rings. So yeah, I think, um, if I'm correct, you'll get like a full pie for each level. It's pretty convenient, as considering that you'll run into a bunch of enemies later on in game, but 2 up is basically like a somewhat tutorial slash opening level. But yeah. Oh yeah. Um, I'm gonna explain that in a little bit, but let's go over here. Oh no, not more cages. Struth! What happened here? Boss Cass did this. He's caged all your bilby mates and hidden them across the land. Oh yeah? Well, big mistake. No one messes with my mates. Now there's a thunder egg in each area if you free them. No worries. Unless you're Boss Cass. That's kind of sus. Alright. So... Yeah, the Frill Lizards can give, in Tai 2, Frill Lizards can give you Opal, but in this game, that's not the case. So yeah. The things that I collected, you remember the Platinum Cogs in Tai 2? Well, in Tai 1, um, there's this thing called Golden Cogs, which they are actually, from the, in Tai 1, um, you could actually get a bunch of upgraded rings. You'll get to see them in a later, um, episode, but, yeah, so, moving on. I don't know if it's true, but I heard about this bloke who found 300 opals, then took them to Julius's opal machine. Anyway, something weird happened, and he ended up with a thunder egg. Ha <laughs> ha! Right, eh? Alright. So yeah, um, that's what they're talking about, is that you, can, like, if you collect 300 opals, then you can get yourself another thunder egg. So, yeah. What is the point of this cutscene? I don't understand. I guess it's a sign that it's, uh... I don't know. That's weird. So, I don't want to make this too long, but I am going to be doing all this editing out later on. Yeah, those are the spy eggs that you see from Tai 2. I'm not going to explain all of it at once, I'm just going to enjoy this. I really enjoyed this, so... Um, first game is actually a lot more better than the sequel, because there is lots of... You know, in the, in the, uh, in the sequel, of Tai and the Bush Rescue, there is a lot of exploring, and... Yeah. Oh yeah, as you can see, if you collect 100 rings, you'll have this... Um, special bite ability. I'm gonna show you guys what it does. So, um, that's why, right? So... So yeah, if you, um, hold on Y and charge it up for a few seconds, then you'll have a super fast uh, multi-attack chomp attack. I know it sounds a little cliche, but it's extremely powerful and it's can be really somewhat helpful in certain situations. Um, yeah. So, yeah, moving on. And by the way, there are picture frames, but it's not really required to get them. But for this, I'm going to actually try to... I mean, the picture frames in Taiwan are not required for 100%, which I'm actually going for, by the way. Um, for those of you who don't know. But... Um... What am I gonna say? I don't know, something. But... Either way, let's, uh, get things on with Julius. See what he has to say. Hmm... Yes. Mm, yes. 
This just might do. G'day, Julius. Oh, hello, Ty. You, you know this golden cog just might be perfect for my latest invention. The Cogulaceous Boom Rangorous Extrapolator. Right, what's that? Why, it's a machine that creates experimental techno rangs. I need golden cogs to build a new one. Fifteen, to be exact. And if you find enough, bring them to my lab in Rainbow Cliffs and I'll build you a new boomerang. You're on, mate. So yeah, if you collect, happen to collect 15 cogs, you can get yourself a techno rang. Um, but for this, I'm going to collect all of them in each um, first in the area because there are one areas I think one of them is two up walk in the park and what's the other one? Oh yeah um shipwrecked if I'm if I say the name correctly I'm gonna do that next because that shipwreck is a long ass level um but walk in the park is not a big deal honestly um, you can pretty much get away with pretty much everything, but either way. Yeah, so we're up to 100 and we got ourselves another chain bite. I, I mean, frankly, you don't have to use the chain bites if you don't want to, but that just makes the whole game a lot more easier, honestly. So yeah, you can see like there's our fake enemies that you can actually bite through some well well through. So uh, that's something that they added in this game as well. So yeah, they added a full separate pie for this game. How much Ugh, I'm not entirely sure if the sequel has a full pie basket, always. Because I know the original does. Um, the first game does. Alright. Let's go ahead and grab this cog. I'm not gonna make this too long. Um, I might have to split this in the next part if I wanted to, because, uh... You know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. But, but yeah. Um, we're just cruising through a little bit. Hopefully I don't miss anything, because if I do... It will not be good. So yes, I'm gonna... Like I said before, I'm gonna be collecting uh, some picture frames. But... I think that I should wait... Until... I'm thinking that... I'll, I'll figure it out in the next episode, but... Um, I think I'm gonna do this the last time for tie 1. That... Just do the final boss first, and do custom music again. I think that's how you roll with it. Okay, so I can't go over here. So yeah, um, as you can see, um, Ty can't swim, so that's why I need to go to shipwreck for it. Because in that level, you'll get to learn how to um, how to how to swim. So yeah. All right. Um, let's go ahead and collect the second boomerang, shall we? Well, I wouldn't have believed it if I didn't see it with my own eyes. <laughs> you actually found the second boomerang. Well, there's no time to sit around and feel all pleased with yourself. You're gonna have to put that new ring to use. You see, I had a thunder egg I was gonna give you, but a bunch of frills stole it. You'll have to take them all on to get it back. All right, so we got ourselves two boober rings. So that's gonna be really helpful for our adventures, you know, pretty much self-explanatory. Got a, uh... Oh, there's a pie right here. What? Huh, that's weird. Right, I was not expecting that. Man, this is taking a while to get up there. Let's go ahead and grab that cog before we take down these grills. 
So yeah, there's ten in each level for these cogs. And if I remember, I think there's eight in each area. Simple as done. Too easy, honestly. Um, oh yeah, there's also another area I need to go through. I might have to save that to the next episode, honestly. And... Yeah, so... Um, I don't... think there's anything else. Alright. Let's go ahead and make our way through to the top. Well, it looks like today wasn't a complete waste of time. <laughs> you seem to have learned a thing or two. Oh, yeah, you're too right. Uh, you know, there's one other thing I could show you, but uh, I don't know if you're ready for it yet. Yeah? Well, what's that? Well, a mate of mine who knows a mate who knows a mate who knows another mate says you can use two boomerangs to glide long distances. How? It's simple, really. You jump, then press and hold jump again to start gliding. Right. Is that safe? Safe as houses, mate. See if you can glide across this gap to reach that thunder egg. Here we go. You ripper! Ah, look at that. Me mate's mate, mate, mate was telling the truth after all. <laughs> Just as well I didn't call for an ambulance. <laughs> well, lad, you made it through with flying colours. And as a little extra bonus, a stopwatch will appear near the start. OK. What's that for? The racetrack. You can race the clock to win another Thunder Egg. Right. I'll give that a go later. <laughs> well, that's enough gas bagging from me. Let's head back to the Bly Bly station. Alright. With that, we're going to end this uh, um, end this episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed the series. Um, if you do, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And with all that said, I'll see you all in part two. Peace.